Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with On The Black. Just want to give you guys some uh, fan comments from uh, this past week. Uh, the first one comes from Mets fan since 71 on Twitter. And he says, I'm still waiting for Jose to take out a full page ad in the Daily News thanking Mets fans for their support. You know, that's an interesting comment because you've seen uh, stars from other teams leave their city and, and take out full page ads in the paper thanking their fans. And not to say that Reyes is obligated to do anything like that because he isn't. But, you know, after the whole uh, don't trade Reyes movement uh, last year, you would have thought that even though Reyes said that the, the organization didn't make him feel wanted, you know, that's a debatable in my opinion, uh, that maybe he would have had some sort of a statement thanking the fans, so on and so forth. Maybe he did that during his press conference in the Marlins, but, you know, reaching out to the Mets fans a little bit more than that. Uh, may have been a nice gesture, although, again, he's not obligated to do anything like that. Next comment comes from Chris over on Facebook, and Chris says, How about going old school and rocking a Seaver or Strawberry or a Gooden jersey or even a Piazza for that matter? What Chris is responding to is a couple days ago I put out a video uh, asking you guys to help me pick out a new Mets shirt. I'm not a jersey guy, but I'm looking to get a new shirt with a name on the back, and I really can't settle on one, so I think as we get closer to the start of the season, I'm probably going to end up getting four. Probably going to end up getting a Davis, Dickey, and then I am going to go old school Chris, and I'm probably going to get Strawberry and Gooden. Uh, so those are the four that I'm going to be uh, settling on. So, uh, you know, if you guys run into me at City Field out uh, during the season, you might see me uh, rocking one of those uh, shirts. And thank you guys for, uh, for helping me uh, pick out some shirts. And the last comment comes over from YouTube, and this is from uh, Pack Opener 123 and he says, uh, this is why we root for Murphy and the Mets class act. And that's in response I did to a, a video that I posted of a Daniel Murphy interview with us bloggers uh, from last week from the Mets uh, annual kids holiday party. And Murphy was uh, really down to earth, really open uh, with us when, when answering our questions, specifically, you know, the two questions that I asked about playing second base and uh, you know he does admit that he has some work to do defensively there he does admit that the toughest part about playing that position is definitely the double play and having his back to the runner there and that's one of the things that he needs to work on so uh, you know I have always kind of uh, not been a big fan of Murphy's defense but you know we'll see he's the starting second baseman going into the season let's see what uh, he works on this offseason and now he comes into the spring training uh, defensively you know we've never had the question as bad it's always been his defense so we'll see hopefully he improves because again at the end of the day uh, I root for the uh, the name on the front of the jersey and uh, not necessarily cheer against the name on the back of the jersey so hopefully Murphy will will come through uh, be better at second base this year and lastly my wife didn't think I would do this on camera but since this is the holiday season I am going to uh, put on my Mets kind of Christmas hat here and I uh, just want to wish you guys uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas out there. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the nice long weekend, and I'll be back next week with some more uh, Mets videos for you guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.